guys, what's going on? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be a palette review. Today we are testing out and going to review the BH Cosmetics Festival Palettes. So this was sent to me by a subscriber in my PO box, so thank you so much. Thank you. I cannot wait to try this out today. I am super excited to show you guys these swatches and a review of it. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, before we get started, I put a video every single freaking day. So if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. So this is the Weekend Festival Palette by BH Cosmetics. This palette is super affordable. You can buy it on BH Cosmetics website or you can buy it at Ulta. BH Cosmetics does take a long time to ship stuff though. So I recommend if you have an Ulta near you, it's probably better just to go in there and buy it. So you can have it right then. It takes like a week to get this stuff or maybe more. This one came to me about a week's time. The one I, when I ordered last time from BH Cosmetics, it took about two weeks and they had my order wrong. I was missing a palette, so that was kind of a pain in the butt. I'd recommend just going to Ulta and buying it, but look how pretty the colors are. Oh my gosh. So let's open it up. You get a nice mirror up top, and then here are the eyeshadows. These colors are so cute. Oh my gosh, there's so many unique colors in here that I was super excited to play with. I love this. I love this a lot. I really like the limes and the golds. So let's start doing an eye makeup test to see if this is actually worth it. Yay, hey, so let's try out this palette. Oh my gosh, it's super pretty. <laughs> the colors on the inside, some of them just speak to me. Like, you know, I just want to touch this one and this one. There's like, oh, mm. also really like this lime color. And this purple right here is so pretty. And it looks like it's matte. Can I have a good matte purple? That'd be awesome. So I already put a white base down and set it on my lid. Just a little something something so we'd have a little bit of something to blend on. I'm going to start off by... I'm just going to put this color Ultimate um, on my lid. I'm going to pack it on with my finger. I'm going to leave the outer corner blank. But look at that pigmentation! Oh my gosh! Oh my god. I'm going to take another finger now and I'm going to take it into hmm. Ooh, I don't mm. I'm going to take this color of Wicked right underneath it this shimmery purple one cuz it's a little bit darker and I'm going to put it on the outer corner and kind of blend it into that blue. Wow. This is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, technically fingers aren't the best test of pigmentation, but this blue though Okay, so I am going to take a fluffier blending brush and I'm going to take it into this color of Palooza and I'm going to buff that over our blue. Um, not all the way to the corner, but like, you know, about three quarters. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Looks like it's blending beautifully already. Maybe I should have tapped off the excess though because I'm getting a lot of blue on the inside of my eye. Wow, wow, wow. Did you see the Owen Wilson thing that's going around? Wow. That's how I feel. <laughs> okay, so there is a bunch of kickback. I'm noticing with this, um, this the matte shadows. There's a lot of kickback like coming off the pan, but I usually just go back in with that extra stuff that pops off the first time and put it in the second eye. So I'm not like mad at it. I'm also going to take this purple color of swag, which I mentioned I like. I'm going to take it on the back end of the brush that I didn't really use. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner and then I'm going to turn the brush around and kind of blend it with that blue. Okay, so I have not found the purple matte to be the most easy to blend. I do not have a matte, like, light colored base in here to kind of help blend underneath the brow area. This is the lightest color in the palette, and so is this, but they're both, like, shimmers, and I can't blend with that. So that's a little bit of an issue for me. I really wish everyone had, like, a matte light base I could kind of blend underneath my brow with. 
I'm going to take another color in the palette. I'm going to take the color of, uh, hmm. I'm going to take the color of electric, this light pink, and kind of run it across the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the color of Dippy, which is a darker pink, and I'm going to put it on the very outer corner. They're both matte, so this should be okay. But that is pigmented. I just went in the pan. Okay, so this is a lot going on in my eye area. I'm gonna take this color of Spirit and kind of go over the lower lash line shadows and kind of maybe lighten that up a little bit because it is like a lot going on. Okay, so I have the eyeshadow done. I'm gonna put some mascara and lashes on, finish up my face, and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts on this palette. All right, guys, this is the finished look with lashes and lipstick on. I was gonna do a nude lip, and then I was like, you know what, let's go for it. Festival fun colors with my bright pink hair. Um, I think the colors look good. It's been on for about 45 minutes since you last saw me, and like the shimmers are still on the lid. The color on the end is still dark and pretty. I feel like the light pink underneath is really cute too. Um, I really like the light pink underneath actually. I like the palette so far. I'm going to do some swatches now and um, then we'll get to the final thoughts. Okay, so the first two um, rows are what I swatched first. I didn't have the room for my arms, the whole palette. I think the first color in the palette of Trixie is cute, but it's more like a topper. And I also think that this matte pink is kind of chunky when you swatch it, but these blue and this gray shimmer are beautiful. So are these mattes right here. I think they are very pretty. Let's move on to the second two rows. Okay, so these second two rows here are swatched. Here they are. I think I like these more. Oh my gosh, look at this blues and the greens and yellow. Like, I live for this kind of primary colors. This purple matte called Swag that I used on my eyes is so pretty. This color right here, which is the color of Solstice, is like a different formula than all the rest of them. It's much more of a like chunky glitter. It reminds me of something you would see when you swatch like the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palettes. Ooh, look at these primary colors right here. They're so pretty. Anyways, they swatch really well. So overall, you guys, I am super happy with this palette. I think it's a great affordable price. I think the colors in here are so stunning, so unique. I live for this blue color. Oh my gosh, I live. And this blue, you can build up with it, and this green, this gold. Like, there's so many colors in here that are so fun. My only complaint is I want one or two more mattes, like a light base matte, so you can put something, uh, like a paint pot or a eyelid base on and matte set it, you know. But I just wish there was a, a light matte. That's it. Other than that, though, this palette is so pretty. And I like how there's, like, a shimmery pink version there's a matte one there's like pairings of stuff so you don't have like a matte green but you have like this matte blue to go with it I, I really just like the combinations i feel like there's a lot of it that kind of pair together you get a matte and a shimmer because it's like similar tones you can kind of work together make a whole look out of it portal price really cute packaging like i am so impressed so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope to see you in the next one i put it every single freaking day and i will see you later bye